What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I... Let's just say I'm really excited for this video, okay? I can already tell I will literally be smiling throughout this whole video because of how happy I am. If you guys follow me on my social media, at Roxoras on Instagram, Twitter, and various different platforms, you may have already seen a sneak peek here and there of what I'm about to tell you. In today's video, I am so excited to let you guys know that I'm collaborating with Makeup Revolution for the third time. No biggie, no biggie. I'm just kidding. I'm literally like so excited and beyond honored that they have let me work with them for the third time. This is literally all thanks to you guys. You guys know that Revolution is literally my favorite drugstore brand. I feel like what they stand for is great. I love the quality of their products. They're really affordable. And they literally just know how to make a kick-ass product. I'm not gonna lie. If any of you guys are brand new here, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna go down a bit of a memory lane before I show you guys the newest collection. The first collection was this one. This was my baby. I was working on this for so so many months it consisted of three different palettes we of course have the iconic ride or die palette which so many of you guys know and love we then have the cult favorite which literally i see so many people using still till this day it's the contour and highlighter palette since launch day i have so many of you guys literally using this every single day as your go-to face palette and that includes myself i haven't used anything else but this palette since it launched and then lastly we have the color burst palette from the first launch this is like my alter ego palette it was like very very colorful i still love this now the second phase of my collaboration with revolution was in the summer of 2019 or was it 2020 no it was 2020 it was in april last year and it was more of like a top-up collection i wanted to obviously not create another eyeshadow palette i wanted to kind of do something a bit different so i came out with a lip collection of three different lipsticks and then also the blush burst palette again this is another one that's so many of you guys message me and say this is literally my favorite blush palette because there's so many options my one has been very loved i have literally used this to death that literally the lid fell off because i dropped it so many times so that was that that was my super like girly launch i really wanted it to kind of be a top up to the already existing products but in my head i've always had this vision of creating a full collection with Revolution, like every single product. Since you guys loved the first two launches, I was like, do you know what? I need to ask you guys, what would you want for the third phase? So now flashback to a year ago, I asked you guys on Twitter, on the slide, like what kind of products are you guys after? What would you want me to launch next? Many of you guys said, we want an eyeshadow palette. We want this, we want this. And I listened, I listened to every single one of you. So for my third collection, I have come out with not one, not two, not three, but four products. This is literally my biggest collection that I've done to date and I'm so proud of it. I've literally worked my butt off with Revolution to make this happen. And today I present to you guys the Cozy Collection. Oh my God, it feels so good to say that. myself and go through each product one by one real quick and kind of just explain to you what it is. So the first product of the collection is an eyeshadow palette. You guys asked for it, so I delivered. I mean, we have already two eyeshadow palettes in the collection. This is the third one, but let me just say this, it's not like any of the other ones. So this is what the outer packaging of the Cozy Vibes palette looks like. It has actually a bit of a texture to it. So when you guys get your hands on it, have a little feel, because honestly, this was really hard to get. In a lot of my previous launches, the outer packaging was completely different from the inside of the actual like palette itself. This time, I've actually decided to make both of them 
exactly the same. This one has a slightly bigger like logo area. This one's a little bit smaller, but I absolutely love the design of this. This concept has been living in my head for like the last two years and I have finally made it happen with Revolution. I'm so excited. The lid of the palette itself again has that super nice textured kind of feel. The logo is that metallic reflective kind of foil texture, which is obviously something that I've been including throughout all of my launches. I just feel like it looks really aesthetically pleasing and I love the look of it. I just can't wait to see you guys like posting little flat lays of it. The actual palette itself has like a gold sort of base as well to kind of go with the logo. I guess now it's time to show you guys the inside of this palette. So three, two, one. Ah. <laughs> I just love the color story of the Cozy Vibes palette. I feel like it's just so soft. There's something really elegant and just really glam about it. It's definitely got that soft glam vibe to it, which I think is so beautiful. Obviously in my previous launches, we've had the oranges, the warm tones, the super crazy colors, but this is definitely the first time we've had a full on pink slash mauve moment. I love every single color in this and there's actually a good mixture of cool toned and warm toned shades. In this palette, there is actually three different formulas. So of course we have the two glitter shades which I think are so glam. We then have a few matte shades that you can use as transition colors or base colors and then we of course have the shimmers which are such an iconic buttery formula from Revolution. This palette I've literally been using for like the past year. Obviously I've been using the other ones too but this one is my new baby and I have literally fallen in love with this one. I love everything about it. The next product we have is actually a brush set. I feel like brush sets are just so underrated, especially when it comes to like influencer or YouTuber collaborations. I wanted to create something that literally was like a set of brushes that I already use, but my own spin on it. So this is the All You Need brush set collection. I called it the All You Need because it is all you need. Inside here we have five different brushes. We have three eyeshadow brushes and then two face brushes. We then also have two beauty blenders. And let me just say, these are game changers. I've been using these for the last year and I will literally never use a face brush for my foundation again. Also, as you guys can see, we have a bit of like a theme going all throughout the packaging. Since the very beginning, I had this vision that I wanted the texture of the packaging to almost look like a knit sweater or like a knit jumper. And we have managed to do that so well. I absolutely love this. The packaging is just so aesthetically pleasing. The next product we then have is an eyeliner, a felt tip liner. This just makes Made so much sense. You guys have been asking for this since the first launch. I wear winged eyeliner all the time and you guys seem to like how I do it. So I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna come out with an eyeliner and I'm gonna make it super easy and super beginner friendly. This is a felt tip liner. It is so black, it's so pigmented, really easy to use and really precise. And then the last product of the collection is a pair of eyelashes. So these are obviously synthetic. Everything in this collection is cruelty free, vegan, which I'm so proud of. I feel like it's super hard to find a really nice pair of lashes that are like fluttery, flirty, but not too long and are synthetic. I've got these on right now, as you guys can see, and they are literally the perfect length. So that is a quick rundown of the whole collection. I'm honestly so happy with the packaging, with the product, everything about it and it's still super affordable. I know you guys are probably rushing straight to the comments to ask when is this coming out? This is gonna be live on the Revolution website tomorrow morning. I will have all the info down in the description so you guys can check it out and make sure you are there as soon as it launches. I am so proud of these products. This has been a long time coming. I've literally worked on this for like the last year. This was actually meant to launch a lot earlier but because of the world and everything that's going on, we had to postpone it. But I feel like now that it's 2021, we've got a fresh start, new year, and I feel like this is the right time to bring this out after waiting for so long now. I hope that this collection will bring a smile to your face. It's called the Cozy Collection because obviously we're all at home. We're all just chilling, trying to be cozy, but still feeling glam. And that's kind of what inspired this whole thing. Like, even though we're stuck at home, why not get glam? Why not get creative with makeup and just feel good about ourselves? This collection was 100% designed with you guys in mind, so I hope you guys enjoy the products. I will have them 
all linked down below so you guys can snap them up tomorrow first thing. As I said, I've been working on this for the last year and I feel like it has literally given me like a sense of purpose in 2020. Like it was such a hard year for so many people, including myself. So working on this collection really felt like it gave me a purpose and like let me do something and be productive. So I hope that all of my hard work with Revolution will pay off and that you guys will like the products. I've actually been talking for the past two hours. So I feel like my voice is literally going now, but I'm going to show you guys how all of it performs on my face. I guess now all there's left to do is to show you guys how to create the look that I'm I'm wearing right now with my new collection. So I guess without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so I'm starting off my makeup with my basal finish. And of course I used my Roxx Revolution Contour and Highlight Palette. This is literally a classic in so many of your guys' routines. And I'm so excited that you guys love the products that have been already launched. So for my contour, I used the mixture of this and this shade. And then for the highlighter, I used this and this shade. And now of course we're gonna move on to the eyes. And this is my first time officially dipping into the Cozy Vibes palette on camera. And honestly, I can't tell you guys how long I've waited for this moment. And of course, to be applying the eyeshadow, I am gonna be using three of the brushes from the All You Need brush set. So within this palette, we actually have a few options of like the base transition kind of color, which is what I love in a palette when you have like options. So in the palette, we have the shades Snug, Knit Sweater, Hot Chocolate, Nap Time, and Fog. These are all mattes, and you could obviously use them all as transition colors. I think one of my favorite matte shades in this palette is definitely the shade Snug, which is this one right here. Here. So I'm gonna be taking that on the biggest fluffy brush for my eyes Just gonna be picking up a little bit of it because honestly the tiny bit goes a long long way And I'm just going to be kind of dusting that through the crease This shade is a really easy one to work with because it's almost a little bit cool toned But kind of more like in between like it's a little bit cool toned But it can pass off as a warm toned shade as well It's a super gorgeous dusky rose kind of color, but it's very very neutral So again, it can be paired with so many different shades as you guys can see it just looks super natural really really effortless and honestly sometimes i literally just use the shade alone and i'm literally good to go also whilst i'm using this brush i quickly want to mention how soft these freaking brushes are like let me just say i've had my fair share of brushes like this that kind of have like prickly fibers almost do you guys know what i mean sometimes after a few washes of these like really fluffy kind of eye brushes they can become like really harsh and prickly almost but this one I have had for literally like a year and I've been washing it constantly and honestly nothing bad has happened to it It's still really really soft and really gentle on the eyes and then moving on to the next shade Which is called nap time. I want this look to be a little bit more like pinky in some areas So I'm gonna be reaching for this shade I'm actually gonna be concentrating this shade more throughout the crease and I'm gonna be using the smaller fluffy brush out of the two fluffy brushes and I'm just gonna be focusing this right here in the crease and then also kind of like like blending this in towards the middle of my lid. I'm also gonna be taking that shade nap time and kind of blending it into my inner corner crease. I'm not really concentrating the shade on the actual lid because we're gonna be cutting the crease in a second. However, just adding that little pop of pink color right there is gonna make that cut crease more defined. All right, so now to cut the crease, I'm gonna use a concealer and kind of just really slowly build that into the inner part of my eye. Cut creases take a long time, I'm not gonna lie to you, guys I still have not perfected it myself but I'm definitely getting better each time I do it let me know in the comments if you guys find doing cut creases like really really hard or do you find it a walk in the park all right so now that I've applied that concealer I'm gonna leave it wet and I'm not gonna set it because I am gonna be applying one of the shimmer shades from the palette however if you wanted to set it you could totally opt for the shade chill and that would give you like a super neutral and a really glam but soft kind of eye but for the purpose of this and just to have a bit of fun and make it a bit more glam I am gonna be using the shade dazzle which is this one right here this shade is so freaking gorgeous I mean look at this I really wanted a glitter shade that had that pinky kind of tone to it so it would really correspond nicely with the rest of the shades I used to be so scared of using glittery shades like this because it would just be a mess it would go all over your face however this formula it sticks together it's really easy to work with and you could either have it really really solid and chunky like you you can see on my finger or you could just do like a little wash of the glitter over your eye I think both look amazing so what I'm gonna do I think these shadows actually do work best when you apply it with your finger so I'm just basically gonna tap this 
on top of where I've placed the concealer. And then any kind of areas where I need to go back in, I'm gonna use the smallest brush from my collection. This brush is literally my favorite brush ever. I love using this for my brow bone. I love using this for my inner corner, under eye. Literally, there's so many uses for this one. However, I find that it's also really good to apply glitter with because it's just so freaking precise and it doesn't allow the glitter to like fall on your face. All right guys, so this is how the glitter looks on. I absolutely love how glittery and how glam it is. And just so you guys know, you don't actually need to have like a base or glitter glue underneath this. It does literally stick onto your skin without any kind of concealer underneath. However, I do feel like it works better if you do have a wet base underneath. I'm now literally gonna cut my other eye, do the exact same thing and I'll be right back. All right guys, so now that we're at this stage and both eyes are cut, and covered in the gorgeous glitter. We're now gonna move on to actually deepening up the outer corners. So for this, I'm actually gonna be using the shade Fog. I kind of want this look to be pinky but cool toned. I could have totally gone for the shade Leaves, which I think would also look amazing. I'm also gonna use this shade to go over the glitter just a little bit so that it all kind of blends nicely and cohesively. As you guys can see, this shade is a really nice dusty mauve kind of shade. It's almost got like a gray kind of undertone to it. I'm just gonna now try and blend the glitter out by adding that shade fog just over the top where the glitter kind of ends. Next up, I'm gonna take the smallest brush once again. Of course, I've dusted off the glitter already and I'm just gonna go back into the shade snug and then run that on my lower lash line. I don't want the lower lash line to be super heavy, so I feel like this shade, which is obviously the one we use for the transition, is gonna be the perfect color. All right, so now to add a bit of highlight to the brow bone, I'm gonna be using the shade Candle Lit, which is this one right here. Here. It's such a beautiful shimmery shade, but it again has that really pinky kind of undertone to it Also, the formula of this one is that foiled kind of shimmer, which I absolutely love. It is so buttery It's so creamy. It's not like dry looking. I don't even know how to describe this shade It just looks beautiful on the eye. So I'm just gonna apply this with a super light hand on my brow bone. As you guys can see, that just lifts the eye so beautifully. This again is such a gorgeous shade to literally just even wear on its own. And now for the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna be using the brightest shade from the whole palette, which is Marshmallow. This is the same formula as Candle Lit, which I just used on my brow bone. This one is a bit more of a true white shade. It doesn't really have that pinky undertone to it. It's kind of just really neutral. I feel like adding the super white super like bam kind of shade in the inner corner will really open up my eye but also I feel like it will stand out against that pink glitter that we've applied on the lid it is absolutely blinding I wish I could make this a highlighter as well because that is so pretty now lastly for the eyeshadow I'm actually gonna be taking my super big blending brush once again and I'm gonna be reaching for the shade knit sweater this is actually a shade I often use just as like my overall base to set my eyelid however I also I really like to use it to kind of combine all of my crease shades together. I felt that I kind of made a bit of a sharp edge right here on this eye. So just going in with that shade right there will kind of blend that into my skin so seamlessly. Honestly, this shade is a bit of a secret weapon for me. I love to use this to like blend shades together or even use it as a base shade. All right, so now that the eyeshadow is finished, it is time to move on to the eyeliner. You guys know I'm kind of known for my wing liner. I literally get so many questions all the time. Like what eyeliner do you use? Can you do a tutorial? on how you do eyeliner. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm like the best at doing my eyeliner. However, I have a few years of practice under my belt and I'm here to tell you guys, felt tip liners are literally the way to go. It is the only thing I ever use. So to be able to make my own eyeliner is honestly a dream come true. And I have to tell you guys, this eyeliner is one of the best I've ever tried. I absolutely love the packaging as well. I feel like a lot of black eyeliners, especially felt tip ones, always just come in like standard boring black packaging. So I wanted to switch it up. It's got my name on it. It is so cute. I love how it feels as well. It feels like really soft. Anyways, let's get to the nitty gritty. This is what the felt tip liner looks like. I absolutely love the tip. It is so precise. It's not like bendy. It's really, really easy to apply. I feel like I have a lot of control with this and the best part of all, it doesn't dry out super quick, which is kind of the issue I've had throughout the years of just using felt tip liners. They always dry out so freaking quick. This one I've been using for a long 
long time like I've had this for a few months and it hasn't dried out yet I'm just gonna apply this now without talking because I just can't do two tasks at the same time especially something as important as wing liner I mean do you guys literally see how easy that was like literally when you press this to your eye it pretty much already makes the wing like you don't really have to do much work at all that literally took me like less than two minutes and I am so so happy with the wings they actually match for once now next up we of course have the lashes which I have my own lashes to apply in just a sec I honestly can't wait to show you guys how these look on but first up I am gonna coat my lashes with a few coats of mascara so actually recently I've been using this one this is the revolution lift and define 5d lash mascara first of all can I just say how cute is the packaging of this mascara it literally goes with my top and like the whole aesthetic of today's makeup but I actually really love the wand of it as well it's very very thin and really precise so I'm just gonna apply a few coats of this to my lashes all right and now finally the lashes these are the style that I've gone for and I absolutely love them you guys have probably noticed that whenever I wear lashes I usually like to wear ones that aren't like super long but are long enough that they actually make a difference these I think are literally the perfect length for so many different eye shapes and so many different eye sizes the actual band length is not like extremely long up to the point where it's like ridiculous and you have to cut them every time now with these you could wear them exactly as they are literally just peel them off out the packaging and you're good to go however I usually like to just trim the ends off a little bit I find that it just makes them look more natural and I don't like to stick lashes too far into my inner corner because I feel like it closes up my eye I absolutely I love the style that I have come up with with Revolution for these because they're very fluttery and as you guys can see they just really open up the eye and they kind of give you that like fox eye vibe. Alright guys so now that my eye makeup is all finished it's now time for some quick touch ups and of course I'm going to be reaching for my blush burst blusher palette. Also please excuse the state of my blush burst palette it is literally on its last breath I need to get a new one. I'm going to be taking the pinky shade to obviously go with the rest of the eye makeup. I'm just going to take the tiniest little amount. I literally love blusher. If you guys aren't on the blush hype, you need to get on it. And then lastly for the lip, I'm of course gonna use my Ride or Die lip collection. I'm gonna take the shade Tokyo and New York and kind of mix them together. All right guys, and just like that, we have a full face of Roxy X Revolution makeup. How crazy is that? That's literally insane. I am literally just a girl sat in my room making YouTube videos for you guys and you have made this whole thing possible. This is my third collaboration with Revolution. Revolution is literally my favorite drugstore brand. I don't think you guys understand how grateful I am. I have literally been working on this like for the whole of last year and it is finally here. You guys can finally get your hands on this. I hope you guys love the products as much as I do and as much as I loved creating them. I literally have spent so many years trying and testing so many different makeup products for you guys that I feel like now I really know what I like and I feel like I know what you guys like and want from a product as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I managed to deliver that to you guys with Revolution. Anyways, yes, I hope you guys love the products. I hope you will get them. They are gonna be online for you guys to purchase with your little hands. I think at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. I'll have all the information down below. Anyways, I really don't even know how to end this video, but just say thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting Supporting me. You guys have been with me for so many years. I think it's literally creeping up to like seven years on YouTube for me. And that is absolutely mental. Like I'm getting a little bit emotional here. I don't want to cry, but like genuinely it means the world to me. And again, a massive thank you to Revolution for believing in me and wanting to work with little old me for the third time. Anyways, that is enough rambling from me. I feel like you guys are probably sick of my voice by now and my voice is gonna go any minute. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm so excited. <laughs>